what's going on brothers and sisters welcome back to my channel another video for the day if you're new to my channel consider smashing the subscribe button the like button let the algorithm know what's good let me know what's good if you have tiktok brothers and sisters make sure you head on over there smash the follow button check out my page though before you know do that thing and before you smash the subscribe button you know check out my page make sure you know you into this let other like-minded souls know that i'm out here as Africa, we are rising. As Africa, we are reclaiming our throne. As Africa, we are listening to our elders who speak and have been speaking for the longest time. Primarily, the goddess queen herself, Sister Soldier. Yeah, she's been at it. When I say African peoples, gods and kings, I mean the voices who have seen the truth and have known the truth and have been asking us to follow the truth as it is cold brutal and in our discovery of oneself as black peoples as melanin peoples as afro descendants kings and queens of earth we do so with divine righteousness that how you design those programs that how you design those programs in by the way i'd like to say shout out to african Exodus, Sister Tyranny Sheree, another goddess queen herself. All of the programs that I attended, that how you design those programs, and all of the programs that I attended, all of the education that I had, college, public, and otherwise, nobody ever told me that I was an African woman. Nobody ever told me what the history of African people were. Nobody ever told me that America is business and without business you will have nothing and be nothing. And nobody ever told me how to organize business so that I would be able to develop institutions in my own community. So now the sincerity, the sincerity of all of the programs and all of the education has to be questioned indicted and convicted because the bottom line is that america is not and has never tried to produce african adults who are functional self-sufficient who understand their politics their economics and their relationship to the world politics and the world economics mm. the naacp the urban league post-colonially and post-apartheid black communities this is why we need to strictly focus on ourselves because if we don't we will forever be running around like headless chickens investigating our own history and making sure that our people and, and children are educated in black consciousness and black pride that is the purpose of my channel hopefully this video places things in a little bit more perspective this is what it's about for me those who speak the hard truth and say follow the hard truth if it's not for black, don't play games. You're wasting time. And the traditional, we, come, we shall overcome Neo uh, civil rights Neo leaders Negro. of the 50s and 60s yes, that Negro. have been all but abandoned and ignored yes. by younger people, sister soldier yes. included. And I, think, I, think, I, think, I think that the... Including the concept of the Rainbow Nation here in South Africa. We are abandoning it. Rainbow Nation was anti-black consciousness and black consciousness is what brought us from apartheid and bondage. It liberated our people. We knew who the real enemy was. But for the sake of a new democracy, they had to make us forget. Rights are loaded and that's what's left out of I think that the dice are loaded, and that's what's left out of Mr. Brown's piece. Mm -hmm. See, there the was a period of loaded. time in this country after uh, uh, Re Reconstruction where African people owned a lot of land, owned a lot of businesses, and did a lot of things. But what happened was the American government, the Ku Klux Klan, and uh, other organizations organized in smashing that effort. So it's not that we haven't tried to own lands and have not organized businesses. It's that if you are African in America or in Latin America or in the Caribbean or in the continent, you will be hunted no matter what you do because they do not want us to survive and become self-sufficient. And you can mm. say No matter what we have tried to do, we have had our leaders assassinated, our countries facing coups and terrorists and, 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 and toppled governments. It's always a problem. They fund both sides, no matter who, just so the country remains unstable and they can get our mineral resources dirt cheap, or we as black people remain 
a cheap labor force. Free if they can get it. No, but you haven't lived this life. You haven't lived this life. I think that they happen to be happy. We want food. I'm talking about that. Basis. All right. Okay. 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 Now, to paraphrase Senator okay. Bradley of uh, New Jersey, the uh, state from which you, your piece was. Senator uh, Bradley gets much right when he talks. Uh, about he does. And he, among other things, and he's not claiming to be particularly original with the observation, we can't get there unless we go together. I have a terrible feeling that behind me are some people who do not agree. Senator, <laughs> Senator, excuse me, Senator Bradley of the all-white United States Senate said we can't get there unless we all go there together. Sorry, none of us are where he is. That's number one. Number two, you're making an, a moral appeal mm -hmm. to a country that doesn't have a moral conscience. Right. The question becomes that when white people feel serious and angry and upset about abortion, they mm. come out in the thousands up to the millions to say, this is what we believe about abortion. Where is the white outcry against white racism that murders African people all around this entire globe? It doesn't exist. So Ooh, power. Including this current event where chaos broke out in Ukraine and Europe and everyone is expecting us to cry along with them. And we were shocked and we're like, no, but chaos happens everywhere. Why aren't you crying for those countries too? But when you face death and misery, we should be there in, in our numbers. <laughs> Equally, the same thing happened with black women where white women were crying for support with the whole abortion thing in, the, in America. Black women were like, yay, that's your fight. Where were you when we needed your support? That's white women for you, and that's generally white people. They have played themselves at the center of all that is. All these white good people, I want to meet you. Oh, it doesn't exist. So who are these white good people? I want to meet them. I want to I see them. I mm. want to see them. Yes. To establish a foundation. We have. Mm -hmm. No, we have it. We, we have, have it. utter chaos in our cities, and you got There's to no say that. You can build. have a program. I can say, I'm not saying we built a lot of institutions. Sure. And absolute confidence in what it means to be black. As absolute confidence in what it means to be an African. Absolute confidence in ourselves completely. The idea that we need non-Africans, we need white people, we need Arabs, we need Asians to get ahead is just insanity. It's a gaslighting process to get you to remain cheap labor, to remain constantly exporting resources to those who can do it. Institutions have not been effective. The majority of millions of African youth in this country are dying mentally, dying spiritually, dying emotionally, dying academically. And you may have a program, Mr. Brown may have a program, but what we got to talk about is an American government that tracks millions of African people who don't go to your program, don't go to Brown's program. Millions of African people, not only here, but all around the world. And if we are not honest enough to say who are our friends who are our enemies to know what mm. a friend is to know what an enemy is we will constantly be trying to get into people's parties to shake mm -hmm. our butts with them to get them to like us and that's not the question the question is what can we build amongst ourselves to secure ourselves from our enemies so that we will be able to survive into the future goddess queen speaks truth this was in i think the 90s or the 80s but here we are in 2023 and I think, yeah, it applies because of post-apartheid South Africa. It's out of chaos out there. But naturally, we try. We keep pushing. We keep pushing. Hmm. Mayor Kelly. Mayor That's enough to know that if I walk out... Knowing who our enemies are and are not. Mistakenly believing that the people who oppressed us will now be allies is insanity. Where we have yet to secure ourselves from the base ground up. Washington D.C. tonight, some black kid in Washington D.C. is blowing off another black kid's head for a pair of sneakers because the institutions that we're talking about, not the things that we hold up to say. Look, this is one example. The institutions that we're talking about.
uh, are not saving the minds of those African children. The same thing happened here in South Africa. Like I said, they removed black consciousness so to make way for a multicultural society. At the detriment of ignoring the post-apartheid mentality and psychosis of those who have been through that trauma. And so when black kids and students and people were running into gang violence, there was a show called Yizu Yizu. But the point is, we needed to strictly address ourselves and truly question what does it mean to be a colonized people, to be a people who have been to apartheid. If we don't address these things, we will continue devastating ourselves like crabs in a barrel. You have none of these Negroes save me. None of these Negroes help save me. None of them. None of these Negroes. None of. Listen. You know who saved me? A man named John the Same in Inglewood, New Jersey, who told me who I was, who showed me my history, who told me who my enemies were, who let me know that this was not an easy world, who let me know that this was a cold environment, who let me know that what he's not a part of is dilly dallying with the minds of African children and letting them know what the real situation is in America. That's right. That was real truth, Sister Soldier. From the motherland with black love. If you're new to the channel family, consider smashing the subscribe button, like I said. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.